In this tutorial, we are going to go through the steps in setting up and running the Titan as an open loop stepper motor controller. I have here a NEMA 17 stepper motor and a Nexus SCX controller. Here I have connected two phase stepper motor wires to the Nexus. I am using a power supply of 24 volts, DC. USB is used to communicate from the Windows PC. Let's open up the Titan software. Check the communication and go to the motor setup screen. Let's enable the manual motor parameter. Edit with this checkbox. For the motor and manufacturer, let's enter ABC. For the motor rated current, let's use 1 amp. And for the motor max current, let's enter 2 amps. For the micro step setting, let's enter 20,000 counts per revolution, which is equivalent to a 100 micro step value on a typical stepper driver. The rest of the values are not used in the open loop control, so you can leave them as is. Let's download the parameters. Now go to the configuration window. Check the open loop stepper control and select the controller mode. If you are using the Titan as an open loop driver, select the pulse mode. In this example, we will use the controller mode. If the encoder is not used, disable the encoder brake check. Download the parameters. Let's store the parameters to flash, so that in case there is a power cycle, the settings are saved to the flash memory. Let's go to the test drive window. Let's select the motor current value view. There are two current values for the two-phase stepper motor. Let's enable the motor. You will see that the motor current value went up to the idle current value. Let's set the jog speed to 0.3 RPM and try jogging. You can see two sign current values that are offset by 90 degrees. Let's stop the motor. You will notice that after stopping, the current ramps down from run to idle current. Let's increase the speed to 300 RPM and the acceleration to 2,500 RPM per second. Let's change the view to position. Let's jog the motor plus. Even though the Titan is running in the open loop mode, the current control is still done in closed loop. There are two closed loop current control parameters proportional and integral current gains. For higher speed or vibration, you may need to change the proportional and the integral gains. For this example, let's increase the current proportional gain to 50 and let's reduce the integral gain to 300. Now, let's write a small A script program to move the motor back and forth. Let's enable the motor. Set the current position as zero. Let's set the speed to 350 RPM and acceleration to 1000 and deceleration to 3000. Use the trapezoidal profile. Now let's make it move back and forth between minus 80,000 to plus 80,000 five times. Click Compile, Download and run the program. Thanks for watching this tutorial video on using the Titan as an open loop stepper motor controller. Before closing, please note that even though Titan can run in open loop, we recommend that you consider running the stepper motor in closed loop. The performance and the speed will dramatically improve. Any common open loop resonance or vibration issues will be eliminated. Running in closed loop stepper will also result in a much quieter and cooler running stepper motor. With Titan, switching to closed loop is easily done with a simple configuration change. Thanks for watching this tutorial video on using the Titan as an open loop stepper motor controller.